Hello and welcome to Guess the Div, the show where I have players guess the div. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, today I am here with Virgil. Hello, I'm Virgil. Perfect. <laughs> and... <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know what else to say. No, that works. We're good. So the divisions are newcomer, amateur, I am main, advance, invite, and they go up from there. So like in that order. Uh, and your job is to guess the div. If you get the if you get the division correct, you get two points. If you're one off, you get one point. And if you know the name of the player, you get a bonus point on top of that. So you asked for a variety of clips. So I gave you one of each class and then like a surprise Highlander one at the end. So okay. let, let, this should be this should be a good variety for you to, to guess through. Uh, let's okay. start the let's start the first one now. Uh, Dean was okay. Focus Fire was all right, I think. The positioning right now is like the weirdest thing, if anything. You might expect a uh, better scout to maybe take high ground because it looked like that was your beam scout, but I could just be thinking that because I'm mixing up the colors. I think that was red, and I don't know if there were any bombers near the end of that, so maybe high ground wasn't necessary. Yeah. You, you ready? You want to watch it again? See if you notice anything the second time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here it is again. He, he seemed to hit, like, at least half of his shots there. He's not- I will say, the fact he's not- Yeah, see, there's a soldier over there. You might want to, like, get on the high ground there. It's kind of weird he turned around to, like, try and stuff the uh, people coming from spawn while his soldier was, like, chasing down someone else. Usually you want your explosive classes to like stuff the spawn door while the scouts kind of like start getting cap time, but the fact he like turned around to like deal with the spawners is a little weird. Uh anything from like his play style particularly isn't like nothing incorrect, but the way his team was positioning makes me think this is probably main I am. Like he seemed to be hitting his shots. I couldn't tell how much he was hitting his shots, but uh, the fact that like that scout that was like just isolated outside of spawn didn't die kind of makes me think it might be a bit lower level because I would feel like an advanced or invite scout would kill that guy. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe I, I'm gonna go with main. I think. Going with main, locking that in. Uh yeah, let's, let's lock that in. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the player Anna in main. Yes. Oh, Anna, I love her. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, you get two points right away. Excellent. You ready for the uh, the soldier one? Soldier, yeah, let's go to the soldier one. There you go. Got a little roof creeper here. It looks like this is mid, too. Yeah, it's... The other team left. I don't know entirely what the situation was. I see going back. Well, this, guy's, this guy's a freak. Did you see that? He just went and killed the soldier and died. <laughs> what, a, what a freak. <laughs> that that one's hard. I, I, it's really hard to figure out what like his decision-making process is from uh, that clip because there's obviously a calm being made about something, but I can't figure out what's prompting it, nor can I figure out like what's how he's like making his decisions based on that comp because like it looked like the other team like got out he left and then the other team came back in but his team just disappeared i don't know that was weird <laughs> it's a little bit of a magic trick yeah <laughs> let me see that one again yeah here it is again so the positioning's good the scouts on um, the other team's positioning is good as well there's something behind, is what it looked like, because you just saw both scouts leave to go deal with something, leaving their demo to cap, and then the demo leaves as well. The medic is kind of getting left out to dry, so they all like turn around to deal with something, and I think that caused the, the red team to come back in. And it looks like they gave up all of their positioning to deal with that thing behind, so the soldier like takes that opportunity to go bomb in. So this is probably like, Romer POV. Um, the decisiveness of the whole team to deal with that guy behind, makes me think 
probably a higher div because usually what you see at lower divs is if there's like a person behind that's like splitting attention you may not see them make one decision or another and then added on to that when the other team left the opposing team came in so like red team came in as blue team left to go chase that guy behind so it seems to be like good coordination it's got to be at least advanced um i'm gonna say that was that might be invite just going off of coordination i'm i'm not too sure advanced or invite uh you know what? Let's, let's we can inflate their egos let's say it's invite okay cool <laughs> so you went with invite and this is actually the player american dragon x in amateur this kid's insane <laughs> <laughs> these amateur teams are different man that was crazy <laughs> Yeah, he he does a, uh, a a speed jump off of a soldier's head. Yeah, I was like a little bit surprised because like the me I didn't mention the mechanics, but like they he seemed to know what he was doing with his jumps. I mean, I'm not a jumper man. It wasn't anything like tier six or anything <laughs> crazy, but it was like he seemed knowledgeable about just maneuvering the map with rocket jumps. So I, I didn't even consider it because like there wasn't a lot DM otherwise. Oh, man, these amateur players are nuts. What's his name? American <laughs> Dragon Six. American Dragon X. X, okay. Or like American Dragon. It, it's just American without the A. <laughs> American, so American Dragon, Dragon X. X. Oh, I'm excited for this guy. This guy's gonna be an up and comer. I can see it now. <laughs> you, you ready for the, the third one? Yeah. Okay, so this one's demo. Good sticky jumps. Good damage into the choke. See what is he? He needs to lock something out now. He goes to lock it out. It's sticky. He's ignoring the scout that already got through, which is good. He's like continuing to try and lock it out, and now there's like only one person left to deal with the soldier. Freak, actual freak. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Make sure to taunt. Okay, well, now I have- did he win that? <laughs> you, you cut it off right as he was about to like win like a 1v5 <laughs> or something. Oh, that was incredible. That was obviously a, a bit of an ego clip, I will say. Whoever sent that in was feeling themselves when they sent that in. Um, yeah, th this one was submitted, yeah. Golden Sticky Launcher. So like the, uh, the, like, double sticky jump thing, uh, skip jump with the stickies or whatever it's called, I, I don't know a lot about demo jumping, but I would think that's a little bit harder to do. Because, like, the, the big thing I'm noticing in this clip is the mechanics, right? Good yeah. decision making, solid mechanics. Hmm. Let me, let me see it again. Let me see it again. Yeah, here, here it is again. Andy taunts. <laughs> I mean, of course, you have to taunt. Yeah, that, that poor soldier coming from Big Door just kind of got decimated. Hmm. Uh, let me think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna more confidently say invite this time, and I'm gonna try and guess a player. Okay. I don't think it's in Karma. In Karma has way flickier aim. Is it? Is, is it from this season? Do I know? Do we know if it's like from this season? Uh, or is it just like I a don't remember. I fine, genuinely don't remember. Demo. Hmm. This is tricky. I might say Dingo. I I I don't think Dingo would taunt, but I'm gonna say Dingo. Okay. Uh, so this is actually the player Pickles in Invite. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. So I, I was sent like a, a bunch of Pickles clips and I think I'm finally out now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pickles. Uh, do they used to go by another name like? Uh, Peren. Peren, yeah, yeah. That's, they they rang for um, Insect Gang when I was playing on Insect Game a couple of times. They, were, they had really solid DM. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, um, she was the she was the first episode, and then after the first episode, she was like, "Here's a ton of clips that I've been storing for a while now." 
Fair All enough. Right, fair enough. And Wait, this is yeah, a solid I clip. think I think I'm out now. I might have one more. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> anyway, the last one. Every episode. <laughs> The, the last one is Medic. Are you ready to see some Medic gameplay? All right, I have opinions on Medic, so let's see how this goes. Okay, let, let's see your Medic opinions. <laughs> this is so fucking sad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. this is so sad. This is so sad. <laughs> Um, and then the re and then the rest is just kill cam footage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, poor guy. There's not a lot you can say there. Um, I want to say I, I'm like 99% sure that's not me because my Australian medigun has a gold, like a yellow sheen to it, not purple. Okay. So unless like I had picked up a gun, I don't think that would be me. Though I wouldn't be surprised because I have been market gardened by Soapy and Jay like an innumerable amount of time. <laughs> let's see let's see that again let's see that again yeah here here it is again this one this one's like a like a horror movie because everything yeah. <laughs> seems so still and then just off in the distance they're staring at the soldier which is good um yeah i that's a, there's not a lot to go off in this clip. I'm gonna be real. They just died to a market gardener. <laughs> no. Um. That, this is hard. This is very hard. Uh, <laughs> um. I think. Man, I hate this old. I might say okay. If I say newcomer, it's gonna be more dig at the soldier than the medic because I'm just mad about the market <laughs> gardener. <laughs> um. I don't know. I see the the ramp slide into the market gardener reminds me of something Soapy would do because Soapy has done that exact move maneuver on uh, to me on like process three different times or something like that, where he has ramp slid yeah. through the process choke and market garden me. I'm just I, I think I'm, that's a, I, that has to be a victim of Soapy Meister. I'm just gonna say it. Whether it's advanced or invite, I don't know. I'll say invite and just say some victim of Soapy Meister. <laughs> uh, I, I have so... too much trauma for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh you're right actually this is ray in invite and yeah. that is soapy yeah I... <laughs> do i get like a half point for identifying who like the killer is in that video <laughs> i don't think so no. <laughs> but but you're at six points already which is really good dude i'm a beast yeah, you, you ready to see the uh, the fifth clip? This one's the Highlander one. This one's entirely made to throw you off. Okay, okay, Highlander. If it's anything outside, I don't think I, I can get this one right. Well, I'll try it, but I have I don't have that much of Highlander experience. There's a spot. Spy. <laughs> That's construed. Construed has been running through a tape recorder and scrims. So I'm got construed locked in. Final answer. It was construed. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Unless there's some other freak of nature spy that's been running red tape recorder. That has to be because construed like got on this weird theory that like red tape recorder would be good to run. So <sighs> does he run enforcer though? I don't know if he runs enforcer. I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna say construed. You are you already locked it in. You yeah, can't change yeah. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm locked. I'm keeping. I'm sticking with it. I was just thinking. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is actually the player Cyber Wizard in Maine. Who is? Who are these? Why are the spies running red tape recorder? What's happening? So the the thing that you're missing as part of this theory is that construed is not the one who came up with the red tape strat. Really? Who who was it? Cyber Wizard. Oh, did Construed steal this from a main spy? Yes. I hate Construed. <laughs> <laughs> I see Construed's been taking notes. Yeah, we found yeah. very quickly the strat doesn't work, especially if you're not like getting in fast enough with your team, or you're like your team isn't getting in fast enough rather. And our team is bad at coordinating with Construed. So. <laughs> <laughs> Those are we hard. found very quickly that the strat doesn't work because we're bad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I could, I mean, I, I know a lot of people think Froggy Land's bad, and I'm not here to comment on that, but I'll tell you, we tried it and it 
we very quickly found it did not work. Probably because we <laughs> suck as well, but... <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, th this is this is Cyber Wizard, the guy who originally came up with the idea, and then uh, it's been slowly kind of spreading somewhat-ish throughout... Yeah, I, I shouldn't have been so confident on the red tape recorder. I don't think I've seen Constrained Run Enforcer, but I just remember there were too many times where he did that exact thing on Vigil with the red tape recorder, so I was like, that had to be him. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of the answer I was expecting. Uh, Little weirdo spies. <laughs> that, that is exactly the answer I was trying to bait somewhat. I can, uh, I can see that. Yeah, well, I fell for it. <laughs> uh... But yeah, so you ended up with a score of 6 out of 10, which is actually really good. Let's go. Um, I believe you're tied for first or tied for second. I don't remember one of the scores that somebody got. I don't remember if he got 6 or 7. Um, Let's go. But yeah, you're, you're either tied for first or tied for second, which is really good. Shout out to everyone on Froggy Land but Townsy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Shout out to Townsy as well. Um, and shout out to Peppermint and Anna, they're my friends. Smile. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to put in the description, because I always list out the shout outs in the description. Uh, shout out to everyone at Froggy Land but Townsy. <laughs> then I'll put Townsy. <laughs> 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 I'll put Anna and Peppermint. That's good, I like that. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for watching. This was fun. Uh, it was a good one, a good set of clips doing sixes mostly, and uh, yeah, send me more stuff, my Discord's in the description, uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, okay, bye. Bye.